What is up everyone this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel Zen X OS is one of the great custom rooms out there which is this latest one Zen X 1.9 which is based on Android version 10 and which is available for a lot of devices actually this is the Zen X OS developed for excellence the latest version is 1.9 it has the August security patch not the September security patch little bit of old build but why this build is one of the great builds out there first of all this build has some great a lot of customizations some customizations you get in a lot of custom rooms also but it has some unique customizations which are those unique customizations how are the themes how this room is everything in this video i'm gonna share with you so make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started quickly guys first of all and mainly we're gonna take a look at some customizations which you get in Xanax OS if we talk about the stability smoothness and these kind of things this is ASP based first of all and for your kind of information ASP based rooms are almost great in the terms of performance multitasking and these kind of things so I don't think so there is something to discuss, discuss about the performance and kind of things it's a ASP based room as I already told you and also let me clarify this is Zen XOS. This is not the Zen UI, Zen UI from ASUS, which is not actually fully AOSP. This is AOSP, this is Zen XOS, which has some great and cool customization features. First of all, if you take a look at the quick settings, we have this color change, and also the styles and wallpaper have this kind of UI as you already know, as you have used some Android 10 based rooms. It also has a custom header image which you can adjust, and this is Dragon Ball Z. So, this is also the latest customization customizable thing because I don't think so Dragon Ball Z headers are available in all custom rooms out there also this is kind of a weather widget here weather tile here which looks very very impressive and you can customize your quick settings also if you want to Overall the room is quite smooth and there are no bugs at all because it's USB based room as I already told you battery display sound apps and notifications everything is fine. First of all if you take a look at the settings you can see these are some things which are divided here. This is a different section this is a different section and this is a different section so all these things are divided into some sections as you can see there's a space behind there which looks very very kind of a unique kind of thing. Also these icons are also themed which looks better in my case in my opinion these icons looks very good too also it has almost every menu some little bit of animations also as you if you have noticed we have the accounts option right there at the top of these four tiles accounts or uh, every time it is available here or here but now it's available here so this is also a little bit of change Talking about other thing, it has very cool kind of feature which is the ultra power saving mode option and by default this option will be enabled. I will recommend you to disable this option because it will just uh, force close your apps in the background and you will not get notifications which are necessary in the I, I think so which are necessary so I will recommend you to disable these kind of things if it is enabled by default like this is in my case I have already disabled it. Also we have the battery health option available that looks very very kind of interesting. Design battery capacity, current battery capacity and the charge cycles, how many charge cycles you have completed that looks very very impressive. Other things are display, sound, apps and notifications and storage kind of things are same nothing else is here. As you have noticed we have very cool kind of animation whenever you open the display settings and like this whenever you open any other settings you will see that, that animation there. Also, we have the display cutout option as you can see the height option. So yes, we have the height notch option. If a device has a notch, then you can hide the notch if you want. It's an official build. It's not a ported room. It's not a GSI as always. But yes, this is a room, official room, which is available for a lot of devices, including Redmi Note 7, Note 8 and a lot more. I'll try to provide the link for all of the devices which are supported for this. This is the main room where you get a lot of customizations and yes this is a customizable menu which is also actually customized as you can see every icon is animated and which is also one of the unique things out there you can customize the status bar notifications lock screen navigation user interface miscellaneous and yes it has some very cool kind of unique features i'm going to show you all those features make sure to watch this in status bar we have the clock customizations as expected network speed uh, this 
carry label and logo has a lot of logos as I'm using the Xenex so I will choose the Xenex logo here but it has a lot of logos options available so if you sometimes use logos these are available too we also have different kind of Volti icons so these are very cool kind of options and this is the new one VOLTE which looks very very interesting my device does not support actually my sim carrier does not support the Volti right now so that's why I have no option in my status bar unfortunately but yes these options are very much great CAF HD icon, MIUI 11 icon, EMUI icon, OOS 10 icon so you can customize your Volti icon to make it look better and clean which is very kind of interesting thing also alongside with that we have the Wo Wi-Fi icon customizations too four wo wi-fi icons customizations are available that looks very very interesting alongside with that we have the quick settings customizations where of course you can customize your columns rows etc and including that we can customize our header image as in my case i'm using this dragon ball z header image you can customize anything whatever else you need these are some dragon ball z we have the naruto which is something different too. I don't think so. Naruto is available anywhere. Nature is available. Nature Random is available. Poly, Wavy, these are available there. And we have the Superhero OS also available. So whichever you like, in, case, in my case, if I choose this one and now my header image is changed, which looks better and unique right now. Other things are kind of the same thing, but these are a lot. If I show you all these things, these might be enough and the video would be so long. So I will not gonna share with you all those features one by one because these are seriously enough and you will surely love this build for sure talking about some little bit of more features which are present here we, I'm not gonna talk about notifications lock screen navigation because these are some same kind of things notification lock screen navigation are kind of same thing like gestures etc talking about the user interface which has very cool kind of features first of all the feature which I liked about this build is the ascent preset as you can see I have applied the one plus red option from here so everything is red here my quick settings icons are in the red color in my case this looks very very interesting but for me it's good and maybe for you it's not good you can also customize you can also choose a samsung blue which is the samsung's blue color kind of tiles as you can see like this so it has a lot of essence options available spotify green so if you're a lover of spotify yes you can choose that one also then these colors and these colors everything will be changed this is very very interesting you don't need to change anything from here you can change a lot of things automatically we have the status bar dual row option available that looks very very interesting you need a system your restart for that so i'm not gonna do these kind of things volume panel style which you can customize usb compact audio and tires so if i choose a compact one that will look like this which looks very very interesting also it has these kind of things and if you have noticed we have the live caption option available here like this which is very very interesting thing and if you don't know what is live caption um, I'm not, I cannot share with you right now because this is kind of a little bit of a complicated kind of thing. You can simply search on Google and find out what, it, what this is kind of a thing. Navigation bar style which you can customize Asus OnePlus One UI or Techno Cam None if you have enabled the navigation bar. In my case, I'm using the full screen gestures as you know so I can customize this thing alongside with that we have the styles and wallpapers so this is the live caption which we have just enabled so that's what's showing me we have a lot of kind of things let me show you whenever i go to a custom option if i want to create a theme for my device we have fonts as you can see these are a lot and these kind of fonts are great so we have a lot of things to customize in this room and i will seriously recommend you if in the terms you want a customization customizable room for a device you can try out this build also it has very cool kind of things let me show you one more thing which i just felt that this is one of the greatest things out there is a lock screen animation what is this you will get a lock screen animation whenever you lock your device you will see animation there like the siri horizontal load loader pulse ball blue balls loud smile load smile or equalizer if you watch my previous review about zen os 
you can zen zenx os you can check out these kind of features were present there also some cool kind of things i have already shown you so all these things are available in zenx os i will recommend you to use this build on your device if you want to install it the link for this build is in the description maybe this build does not have the google apps pre-installed so you can install them if you want to the link for the google apps is also in the description i will recommend you those g those g apps so you can install them now this was all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe me also thanks for watching goodbye